it hasn't been a good day unless you're filthy. That's what my parents said when they looked at me, my brother, at the end of most days when we were younger. Days spent under bushes, looking for insects, or up high in trees, trying to see who could climb higher. I love being outdoors. I love the natural world. And it can only truly be experienced firsthand. In school, yes, core subjects are important, but so is experience in nature. We can learn so much about ourselves and our capabilities from being outdoors. Life experiences are just as important as geometry and algebra. In recent years, the English school system has shifted to a much more traditional trajectory, with emphasis placed on core subjects and achievement measured by a rigid final exam. My school and teachers do a great job of encouraging us as individuals. The system can sometimes feel stifling. And that's why I'm here, to make the case that one day a week of every school week should be dedicated to spending time outdoors, learning about our world and our place in it. In recent years, the Forest School project has really gained traction in nursery and primary schools, as educators realise young people are losing touch with the natural world. But for some reason, people seem to think that the need to connect with nature and be inquisitive about our world ends at age 11. I strongly believe that school children of all ages, scrap that everyone, will benefit so much from spending more time outdoors, connecting with their immediate and wider global environment. Spending more time outdoors can lead to us thinking more laterally and lead to more innovation. I cannot emphasise strongly enough my belief in the importance of outdoor learning. We are the ones, as everyone likes to remind us, who will inherit this planet and the climate crisis so generously bequeathed.